Hello everybody! It's Colleen here with Chalk Couture and I have a very special guest with me tonight. Hello! <laughs> this is Mandy. Mandy just joined um, Team Something to Chalk About. So she's watching how we go about doing a live video tonight. So what I'm doing is I have my iPad here and I'm going to go to my personal page and then look for the live. Here's the live. And then what I do is I want to share this to my VIP page. So share to group. All my groups are going to come up down here. I just look for Colleen's VIP and I share it. And then that's done. So now I am broadcasting my personal page and on my VIP page at the same time. So I can now, any comments if anybody's coming in, I can see them here. So I usually just kind of clean this right on here like that. Hopefully that will stay. Okay, because this project's a little big. Hopefully that's not going to fall over. So for tonight, so someone said, hey, there's my hubby watching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hubby. So for tonight's project, so up here you can see how many people are watching. So some people are on here, so I'm saying, hi. Um, I can't see everybody's name. So if they're on your page, then you can see them. If they're not your friends, then you can't see them, but they're still in. So you can say hi and say hi to my hubby. And um, so tonight's project, we are going to do, there's my <laughs> Philly's logo. We're going to do an ink project tonight, and we are going to use this amazingly awesome transfer the farmers market and we are going to do it on our canvas banner so this will be the first time using this surface so as we always do when we are doing an ink project we've got our ink mat here so we want to go ahead and take the cover sheet off our ink mats are sticky and the reason that we want the stickiness is because we're going to put this behind our surface and it's going to help it stick on here and not move while we are inking. And it's also going to prevent the ink from bleeding through onto my desk. So that is the whole purpose of that. So we're just going to try to smooth this out on here like so. And it's always helpful to kind of iron your surface. Hi, Johnny. It's helpful to iron your um, surface beforehand because that also helps eliminate any bumps that you might have on your canvas that you're working on. So the second step with our transfer, once we remove it from our carrier sheet, from our plastic bag or rather, I should have taken this out already. Okay. So as we do with any brand new transfer, sorry, I don't want to smack in the head with that. It's a big one. Um, so as we do with any brand new transfer, we always label the back of it so that we know to return it to the correct side of the carrier sheet. As you can see, this side of the carrier sheet is our shiny side, and that's where you're going to return your sticky transfer to. And this side is the paper side, and you don't want to accidentally return it there because you're not going to be able to get your transfer back off. So um, that's the whole reason why we do that. Now with our rather large transfers, it's always best, I'm going to try to angle this without hitting my stuff here, to remove the carrier sheet from the transfer. So what do I mean by that? I mean lay, lay it down like so, and remove the sheet, and kind of do it almost like you would a Band-Aid. You kind of want to go quick and pull back. Or you can do a boo-boo like I just did and have it stick to itself, which that will sometimes happen, of course. <laughs> I did the same thing last night. It stuck to itself. All right, so good learning lesson here. So if this should happen, number one, don't panic. Number two, if you can pull it apart, without stretching the silk screen area, then you can go ahead and do that. Now, if you find that the silk screen is actually starting to pull and get misshapen, stop. Just get it into water and the water is going to help loosen it up. But no worries, it came off without a problem. And as you can see, the back of this transfer is pretty darn sticky. And that is, hey Debbie, that is 
on purpose because you're going to want to adhere your transfer to your surface so that you're getting a good pass through of the chalk or ink onto your surface. Typically when I do a project with um, paste, with the couture paste, um, I do fuzz my transfer. However, because we're using ink and because it's on canvas, I am not going to fuzz this up tonight because we want a very tight seal between our transfer and our canvas. So speaking of transfers, these are reusable silkscreen transfers that you can get between 8 and 12 uses out of. However, if you are careful and you clean your transfers, and depending on the kind of surface that you use, you can get many more projects out of it. So this is going to kind of go off of my canvas a little bit, and I'm fine with that. His tail's not going to come on, but that's okay. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting all the words on here, and I'm kind of getting it centered. And then we smooth out our transfer, trying to make sure that we don't have any bubbles, and that I am down here. I think I am, it looks pretty okay, you say? Mm -hmm. Pretty centered, I think. Okay, so what we're going to do for tonight's project is two colors. So I'm going to use the, uh, hey Kelly, I'm going to use this awesome top color. This is in our two ounce jars, which we actually have now migrated up to our three ounce jars. Um, and this is what they look like. So this is Midnight Sky, and we're going to use top. So I think, Mandy, what were you saying? Midnight Sky for Farmer's Market and then every weekend? That, that sounds, sounds good. good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we will try that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top up here and I'm going to pull that back because then I'm going to go to the midnight sky here and then, um, you know what? I might not be able to do that because the rooster's head is over here. Uh, let me think that through. Hmm. Let me think. I think I am just going to try to do that. So what I'll do is, it might take a bit, but I'm going to put the first color down, then the second color, and pull that back, and try to dry it real quick, and then move on to the rooster. So let's try that. We'll give it a go. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Alrighty. So um, you usually don't have to stir your ink, because it does have, it is a bit thinner than... Um, your chalk paste, but I'm going to go ahead and just give it a quick stir. You can see it's It's a lot thinner, but it does still have that yogurt like consistency But I just wanted to give it a quick stir because I haven't used this in a while. So All right, hold my breath <laughs> <laughs> And hope for the best here Because uh, you know me and ink sometimes don't always don't always play nice together But we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna start with top up here uh, make sure I got my nice tight seal. And it's just like chalk. I'm just covering the silk screen area and that is it, getting all my lines off. And when I say lines, I think you can see, can you see what I mean when I say lines? See how there's lines in there? So if you just get that off, because sometimes when you, um, if you do have lines on it and you take the transfer off, you can kind of see it sometimes. So I just try to make sure that I have no lines and all my excess is off. And I missed a little piece of the M. Okay. That, oh, looks like I missed a piece of the C. And that's it. And then, as we always do, excess goes right back into our jar. Now, when using ink, always make sure to check your fingers to make sure you don't have any ink. Because if I touch up top here on the canvas, it's going to leave the ink there, and obviously we don't want that to happen. So let's pull down here, and that is that. So we're going to dry this super quick, hopefully. Some of the inks dry quicker than others. Let's see if this is a quick drying one. Try not to hit your transfer, because it'll shrink your transfer yeah. with the heat. Yeah, I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me check that real quick. It looks kind of 
looks like it's still tacky. Okay, I'm just going to put this down very lightly because it might still be a little bit tacky. And actually, you know what I might do? Hold that up. There we go. That'll work. Just in case that wasn't dried all the way. All right, we're going to move to Midnight Sky for our farmer's market part. I went to a bigger squeegee because this is bigger font. And this way we can get it on fairly quickly. And that's it. Pretty easy. This is a pretty color. I like the midnight sky. And I like it with the top, which is kind of like that gray color. Pretty cool. Yeah, I gotta get better lights in here. <laughs> I can barely see over here. Ugh, I say it every time. One of these weekends I'm gonna run out and get a new lamp. That'll probably help. I'm just trying to go a little slow down here because I'm getting a little close to his rooster feathers and I missed a piece sometimes it's yeah good lighting is really helps out so you can see pieces that you might be missing could miss any piece of his e the the ink is actually a little bit more forgiving too it doesn't dry quite as quick as the um as the chalk paste I missed a piece of the tea I think that's it. Oh. Okay, I think we're good. Alrighty, so let's try and pull this down. Okay, get off of there. Let's see how this looks. <gasps> Ooh, it's supposed to look like just that it's nice. like distressed. Ooh, I love that. Okay, we're gonna give this now. I have a feeling that this one is gonna take a little longer to dry. Hey Heidi! But I could be wrong. Maybe it would be a quick drying one. That would be nice. How are you, Heidi? The reason I'm so nervous with this one too is because this canvas and the ink, I'm like, oh, I'm oh going to mess it up. Yeah. But the nice thing is, hi Dawn, the nice thing is that um, there's a refill packs for this that comes in a two pack. So um, at the top of the canvas are these cool um, little wooden pieces and they're, oh nice, oh that's late Heidi. I guess you work later or are you uh, in a different time zone? I can't remember. Um, so the cool thing is that they're magnetic so when you put this behind and then the canvas in between it's going to snap together like that and then you've got this cool little string to hang it from and you can have a cool design like this oh 430 in alaska oh my gosh i forgot you're in alaska <laughs> oh it changed now you're you don't have the full sunlight now right it changed back right um so the cool thing is, as I was saying, that you have a two-pack that you can get replacements for these. So you can have a nice everyday evergreen sentiment, and then you can change it out for the holidays. So that's kind of cool. Okay, let's test this and see if, um, make sure I don't have any ink on my hands. This still does definitely look wet to me. It's not coming up on my fingers, but it, it feels like it might be a little... A little tacky. I'm afraid to push too hard. So I'm going to, right now we're pretty normal. It gets dark about 10 at night, but we're losing daylight. Okay. Yep. So are we here in Jersey. It's getting darker earlier and I hate it. Mm -hmm. I hate it. All right. I think I'm going to try to just stick this up. Oh, yay. We have light. My light decided to come back on. I'm just going to stick this to kind of keep some of it off. I'm really, really rigging this tonight. But I'm so nervous that it's going to go back on there and, like, not work. That's not going to work because then his, ah, his feathers aren't down. 
All right, you know what? I'm just going to lay it back down and hope for the best, and hopefully it's not going to smear. All right, I'm just placing down the rooster again just to make sure I've got a nice tight seal since I lift it up. And then we're going to just throw a whole bunch of top down here and rock and roll right onto our rooster. So I'm going to grab a lot. And I'm just going to start at the top and work my way down. Again, it's pretty thin, so it does smear pretty good. Like if you just pull that straight down, it goes pretty good. Just making sure I've got all that covered up there. I'm going to use a lot of this. The rooster does require a lot. <laughs> So this is probably why they changed the three ounce jars, maybe. <laughs> have more. Yeah, so you have more. Alright, I'm just gonna get in here. Alright, top half of our rooster is done. I'm gonna keep going. everybody's fingers are crossed that this isn't going to start drying on me. <sighs> Let's see. And actually, you know what, in hindsight, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have used my big squeegee because that would have just pulled it right on across. But, oh well. Live and learn. Sometimes I don't always use my brain. I'm just taking this right to the end. I know that his tail is not going to be on the canvas because he's a little bit bigger than the canvas itself, but I'm okay with that. I kind of like that look sometimes. Having things kind of go off the board or off the surface that you're using, it's kind of cool. I'm using Ink Heidi. This is the top ink, and I'm using the, um, the canvas. I, I didn't know whether to go with ink or chalk for the canvas, but I, I tend to think that for this canvas, for Chalk Couture's canvas, it's probably best to use the ink, I'm thinking. Because if you want it to get a replacement and then you want it to store this rooster, it's probably going to crack, I'm thinking, if you use paste. So that's why I'm kind of thinking ink is the way to go on here. All right, we're just going to try to get the end of his feather, what we can get the fit here. All right. Try to get some of those lines out, and I missed a piece of his feather. The ink that color is going to look amazing. That's what I did my placemats. And oh, you did the rooster in this color on the placement. I think I saw this. Another designer had done this as well with the top on it. Which I thought, oh my gosh, that's kind of interesting. I didn't think it would show out, show up too good on the canvas, but it, it does. It makes it look really rustic. All right, checking our fingers once again to make sure we don't have any ink, which I do. Okay, hopefully I didn't mess up the top by laying that back down. I think it should be okay. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. It looks awesome. I love the it blue. Awesome. That was a great call with the blue. All right, so I think, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to just kind of leave it like this for a hot second and try to heat set this real quick. Oh, he looks so cool. I really, really like the blue with it. That was the way to go. <laughs> this one. I'm on top. Wait, wait, I missed that. Yes, I'm one top ten textile to go to convention. Wait, I don't get it, Heidi. I think I'm reading that wrong. I don't know what you mean. Alright. I'm going to just kind of have to hold this up and get the, the blue in here real quick and then right back to the top and then I'm going to rip this off 
super fast. Sorry that I'm hiding underneath, but I'm just trying to do this really quickly so I can get this pulled off. All right, that's done. What happens if you don't get the ink off the transfer right away? Um, so long as, oops, so long as uh, the silkscreen area is clear, you're good. Why does it not want to move? Because oh, I'm stuck to the table. All right. I'm just going to have to lift that up, too. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right, that's good. Let me just lay this down. Oh, I stuck it again. I'll, get that. I'll take care of it when I get it in water. Yeah, this is a beast. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it is a little tough. Oh, you won the top. Oh, right. Oh, that's right. For textile. I forgot about that, Heidi. See if I can pull this apart real oh, quick because it's still wet. There we go. We got it. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hard one. <laughs> hey, Jackie. How are you, girl? Jackie's my coworker. Hi, Kelly. How are you? All right. We are almost done. I promise. I just have this last little bit and I keep sticking my transfer to itself. I'm just trying to finish this last piece down here, which I probably just should have left it off, and I got a little ink on there. Hopefully that's not going to smear. Let me try. Nothing like doing it live, right? <laughs> I got some blue on here, and I think that's going to get in and smear a little. Shoot. It's not on my squeegee, so it should be okay. All right, guys, we're almost done. I apologize that you can't see me doing the bottom of this. But I'm afraid if I try to move this transfer, I'm really going to get it stuck to itself. So I just want to finish, and then I'm going to pull it up so you can see it. And I know I've got ink all over my fingers, too. All right. Okay, I think we are just about done. Got everything covered. And I'll throw that there. And I am going to quickly run this right to my sink and then I'm going to show you guys the final step. Ta-da! Okay, so give me one hot sec to run this to the sink. I'm just going to grab a quick, oh, thank you so much. I'm going to grab a wipe, too, to get this off. Hi, Eileen. Um, oh, my wipe's right there. Thank you. Just going to try to get some of this ink off my fingers. So, um, once your ink is completely, completely dry, um, what you'll do is you will remove the ink mat from behind your project. And then you'll get a piece of parchment paper, and you are going to iron this. You can use your Easy Press, or you can use a regular old school iron. I set it on the cotton setting, and I iron it with the parchment paper for four minutes on the front, flip it over, and do four minutes on the back with the iron. That will now be permanent and heat set into your canvas and there's going to be no worries about that washing off. You can actually wash it and put it in the dryer and it will be completely fine. How are you Eileen? So because I um, want to make sure that this is completely completely dry I'm not going to do the final step which I just explained um, just because if it is not completely dry and you do go to iron it you run the risk of smearing the ink so um, sometimes it's kind of best just to maybe even let it go overnight and dry so you know it's good and dry and then come back in tomorrow night and iron and and that heat sets it so uh i think that about covers tonight's project looks great oh uh, thank you so i'm gonna take a picture and post it in the comments below i am also going to post a link to my online store where you can buy these amazing products from chocotour it will take you directly to my online store where you can shop 
and everything will be sure, shipped directly to you. And if you are interested in becoming a Chalk Couture designer, you can just um, type uh, me down below and I will be happy to send you a private message and we can talk about becoming a designer and all the amazing um, perks and things that you get with becoming a designer. So I thank you very much for watching. Have a great night and I will talk to you all later. Bye.